Interesting that he goes for the Earthquake because it won't take care of the Princesses. We have four Princesses down, which is absurd. Okay. I know my dude's sweating over the number of Princesses that we have down. He has zero Elixir right now. So go for the late Log. Log here will keep my Princess on that side alive. Absolutely diabolical. What's up, everyone? It's Durky here, and I just gotta say, it's a good time to be a log bait player. For those of you that haven't heard, Supercell is allowing players with a King Tower of level 15 to have two card evolutions in their deck. Fortunately for players like me, the two best card evolutions, the Evo Knight and the Evo Skeletons, fit perfectly into log bait. So this is the variation of log bait I'm running. It has the Evo Knight, the Evo Skeletons, the Tesla, and then everything else is pretty much standard. So if you've ever wanted to give log bait a try, this is the season for it, uh, assuming you have King Tower level 15. Open into some games, show you how to use this deck in case you don't know already. But before I do that, I just want to ask any of you watching to please smash that like button and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It is completely free for you, but it does help me immensely. So I appreciate that. And let's get into some games. Hopping into our match here. And starting plays with this deck, I feel like I do play a lot of log bait on my channel, so maybe y'all are familiar, but I like just opening up with an Ice Spirit. If you want to be really aggressive, you can go for an Ice Spirit Barrel, but typically an Ice Spirit is just a safe play to kind of get a feel for what your opponent is running. So in this scenario, when I see Firecracker, I was going to say my mind immediately goes to Hog Rider. Uh, that appears to not be the case. Looks like it's going to be Royal Giant. So we're going to go ahead... We're going to block this Firecracker, and a well-timed log should keep this to getting zero hits, so that's good for us. Roy Giant um, is kind of scary. I'm assuming they're running the Evo Royal Giant and the Evo Firecracker, but if you play it properly, uh, you can definitely win. <clears throat> it gets kind of scary in Double Elixir when they'll drop a Royal Giant at the back, and then they'll cycle two, so then you'll have, like, your Tesla gets outcycled, and it's really hard to defend, so... Okay. Not gonna lie, wasn't ready for them to also have a Goblin Barrel, so <clears throat> kind of an unorthodox matchup it would seem. But I'm kind of thankful that they do have the Goblin Barrel because then the King Tower activation is actually meaningful. So we're gonna go ahead and get the King. Oh, misplaced it. Never mind. Okay, so that was really aggressive. I'm gonna go like this. He's gonna have to play something on the right lane, and then I can go for a Goblin Barrel on the opposite lane. And I don't think they'll have enough Elixir to get the log down. We'll see. <clears throat> Okay, so super unorthodox deck. Looks like that they're running single spell would be my guess. So they're just running with an arrow. So now we pretty much know their full deck. We know their barrel counters. <clears throat> Tesla's going to get a lot of value pretty much. The only way they're going to be able to take out our Tesla is with bats or if they want to spend arrows on it. <laughs> so we'll keep that in mind. So it looks like it is like a hybrid bait RG deck. <laughs> you most likely won't run into this deck, so I don't think you have a ton to worry about. But either way. Like I said, just got to be wary about the bats. Our evil skeletons will probably get a lot of value as well. Okay, they're going to go in here with the bats most likely. Yep, there they are. Not in time to take care of our evil skeletons, and that's an easy defense. Beautiful. We're going to try and catch the skeleton army here. That's like really the only good thing he has in hand. Yeah, and we do. We activate king tower as well, and this is going to take a good chunk of their tower. <clears throat> so that was good cycle tracking they didn't have their arrows in hand so really the only thing they could have played on that was the skeleton army okay i get caught in kind of an awkward cycle here so i'm gonna just let that do its thing i'm gonna go like this maybe we can force out arrows onto the skeletons they save it for the barrel that was the right thing but as you can see here we're in a really really good position we're two rockets away so that's really good for us i don't foresee us losing this match but you never know you never know Okay, he has a Mega Knight too. This dude's absolutely crazy. I'm actually just going to cycle a rocket on that. I'm pretty confident with my evil skeletons that I can defend. This should force out either the Skarmy or the arrows. But in yeah, okay. There's the Skarmy. And we're just going to cycle back to another rocket here. Okay. Evil skeletons in the back. And that's not going to take our tower in time. So we're going to go ahead and go for the rocket. I wouldn't necess necessarily recommend going for that risky of an out cycle, but... I had such a big tower lead that I didn't need to worry about it. So really weird first game, uh, but we'll go ahead and see you in the next one. To our next match here, and we're going to see if we can get a, a more orthodox matchup. I feel like the last deck was kind of weird, kind of wonky. I feel like whenever I play against like a homemade deck like that, it's not necessarily super beneficial to the viewers. Because <laughs> it's like, how often are you going to run into someone who's running Royal Giant, Goblin Barrel, Firecracker on ladder? 
So right off the bat, when I see minions, I'm like, that's usually a good matchup. Usually some sort of beatdown or something. <clears throat> like giant or, or whatnot. I'm going to be a menace and I'm going to protect my princess here. Because I can defend that mini P.E.K.K.A. for really cheap. I can actually just go Ice Spirit Skeletons. And we can get a, our King Tower activated as well. So this is an amazing start for us. I actually mess up the King Tower of it activation a little bit, but <clears throat> it's not the end of the world. Probably has a Skarmy or Snowball or Arrows, yeah. So it looks like it's some sort of beatdown deck. <clears throat> Maybe Giant Graveyard or Goblin Giant with uh, like a evolved Firecracker or something. So in general, Logbait fares like pretty well against these types of matchups for the most part. You just need to make sure you don't get caught in an awkward, awkward cycle where you can't defend like a beatdown push. But as long as you don't like burn your Tesla for no reason, um, you'll usually be okay. So I'm going to just let this go. Can't really <clears throat> defend it anymore. Okay, it is Goblin Giant. No surprise there. <clears throat> My guess is their secondary spell is Arrows. Or sorry, um, Rage. So I'm going to try and defend very, very carefully here. I'm going to pressure wall defending. Then we're going to go like this with our princess. And then we're going to try and defend all of this with Evo Skeletons. Yeah, exactly. Good job, Evo Skellies. Okay, he does have the rage like I thought, so we dropped the Evo Knight. And um, this is a really good matchup for us. We know that they don't have arrows in hand, so they're not going to be able to defend this for no damage. So we're going to go like this. Princess is going to splash on the Knight and the Tower. Again, I'm only doing this because I know they don't have arrows in hand. That's going to pretty much take out the minions, which is awesome for us. I'm going to take the King Tower activation here. We won't mess it up this time. And then Ice Spirit high for these minions. We're going to pull everything to the side, and then we're going to cycle to a Princess. Just so we can cycle back to skeletons for this mini pack. It'll force out the arrows on defense. He can't play arrows on offense. We need to watch out for a rage though. Now nah, we're good. <clears throat> Probably wouldn't have been a good rage anyway. Does have the evil evil knight in cycle. I misclicked my barrel there. So you can just imagine that I played it on the tower, I suppose. Does go for the evil firecracker. It is what it is. Can't really over defend this. Don't want to over defend it. I will take the rocket here on all of these troops. I think it's worth it, especially when he goes for the pre-arrows like that. We're going to go on the, for the Evo Skeletons at post Rage. And eight Evo Skeletons will connect to the tower, so he has to play something on them. That's a fun fact. If you can count eight Evolved Skeletons, that will connect to the tower. He's probably going to go in here. Yep, no surprise there. We're going to drop the Evo Knight on the Firecracker to make sure it doesn't get any value. Ice Spirit here, as well as a Princess. Evo Knight is going to tank for those minions. Evo Knight and Evo Skeletons both being in the same deck is absolutely absurd. And at this point, like, this is a really, really good matchup. It's one of those matchups where, like, you lose it if you make a mistake, but there's really no reason that they should lose. Or, sorry, there's no reason that they should win unless you, you make a mistake. So we're just going to rinse and repeat here. Defense is super easy. The biggest threat is just the mini P.E.K.K.A., so as long as you can keep the mini P.E.K.K.A. at bay, you're fine. And just like that, we put it into rocket range, so... Good game to my uh, opponent. Not a lot that they could do in that matchup. So if you hate losing a Goblin Giant, this might be the deck for you. So that's a good game. <laughs> yeah, I'd be salty too. Uh, see you on the next one. Our next match here against Shimpei. Shimpai. We're going to see what what, uh, what type of matchups we could get. I'd like to get a diverse suite of matchups. I will say that in terms of matchups that are bad for this deck, I would say Graveyard is pretty bad. And Royal Recruit like spam decks like anything royal recruit royal hogs triple spell like those are not the decks that you want to be running against so i'm gonna cycle skeletons to help dps down this night goblin barrel on the other side unfortunately they don't have anything in cycle you need to be careful about this little prince he's probably going to play something in front of it or pop the ability my guess is hogs um actually i think it's e-giant now that uh now that i've gotten a good look at the deck so we're going to skelly surround like this to distract for three shots of the bowler. And then just go in for a log to make sure that that doesn't get any damage. So it looks like it's going to be E-Giant. E-Giant can be really tricky if you don't manage your cycle properly. <clears throat> um, yeah, the NATO definitely, I think, confirms it. We, you'll notice we played our Goblin Barrel to the right to make that Tornado harder to hit. Okay, no, no shot from the Knight there. That's awesome. 
And funny thing is, Evo Skeletons actually defend um, defend the E-Giant really well. He won't be able to get that ability off, so that's a really good play for us. Forces out the bowler. And Princess is gone. It is what it is. But like I said, force out the bowler. And that Evo Knight is going to be tanking for a really long time, so I can go in for this barrel. Force out their Evo Knight as well. So that's fine. This will actually be really easy for us to defend because we have our Evo Skeletons in cycle. So I'm going to go like this just to distract a bowler shot. And then we're going to Skelly Surround. And watch these things go to work. He's probably going to pop the ability. But, I mean, at that point, the Evil Knight got wiped. So that's good for us. And then we can just defend this very easily with our Knight. So that was what was once a scary counter push is scary no more. He probably goes for a bowler here to defend this. It doesn't look like they have a bar barrel. They haven't used it yet. I think they have the cannon in for the bar barrel or something. <clears throat> and you can see we've already taken a good chunk of his tower by the time that he's able to go in for his first E-Giant. So we're going to drop our Tesla here knowing that they're going to lightning it and we'll have another one in cycle at least that's the idea we're going to go like this maybe bait out the tornado princessing way over here because i don't want to give him lightning value we're going to log like this get ready for them to lightning and we're back to our second tesla here we are so ready for that lightning that's the idea skeletons up high <clears throat> and that's the the defense right you need to always manage your cycle make, make sure you're anticipating that lightning because what a lot of bait players don't do when they're new to this matchup is anticipate the lightning. You need to know that that lightning's coming. They're going to take it all day, every day. And I don't think my opponent was ready for that princess at the bridge. We don't even have to worry about defending this E-Giant. So that's a good game. If you struggle with E-Giant, hopefully that helps you. And we'll see you in the next one. Okay, into our, our next matchup here against Jesus is King. He's in Phone Clats Clan as well. So we'll go ahead and give him the good luck in honor of our boy Phone Cats. Goblin Barrel over on the safe spot, so it's not easy for them to get a tornado. <clears throat> Looks like they might be running... Whenever I see Knight Archers, my first thought is like, oh, it's Expo. Um, not for sure, not for sure. Just like I said, my first thought. Messed up that Ice Spirit, so I'm going to go for my Knight here. And unfortunately, I got to let my Princess go. Mega Minion is throwing me off, though. Not 100% sure what it's going to be, so I'm just going to chill and cycle my Skeletons in the back. And based on the cards they've played, they probably have a log. Um, I don't know for sure. I'm going to Ice Spirit because it's going to reset the Ram Rider. Yeah, so even if they Earthquake, they're not going to break through. And the Knight to pull this over, it's also going to help with the Goblins. So I was wrong. It's not Expo. It's like Bridge Spam with Evo Archers. So, <clears throat> And their big spell is Earthquake. The question is, do they have a Zap? Do they have a Bar Barrel? We'll have to see. Hmm. I could princess at the bridge, but I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. I think if I princess at the bridge, they would counter with archers, and I don't really have anything easy to counter uh, the archers with. So we're gonna go like this here. We're already back to another Tesla. I'm gonna Tesla log as well, and then if they do go for the earthquake, we can go for the ice spirit. Otherwise, we don't need it. So interesting time to go for the ram rider. My princess is gonna survive, so no complaints from your boy there. And because they have to spend... I'm going to go in for an Ice Spirit Barrel, and I, we will for sure find out if they have a small spell. Yeah, so the fact that they don't go for the small spell tells me they might not have one. <clears throat> and instead, maybe they have, like, two big spells or something. Because in that situation, why would you not play a Bar Barrel? Unless you're running, like, a Rage or a Zap or something, then maybe you would wait. Okay, for fortunately, we have our Evo Knight in hand to defend their Evo Knight. I'm going to cycle my log here because I want to save my Evo Skeletons. Okay, they have a Monk. <clears throat> monk can be very, very scary. We need to keep that in mind on this defense. I'm going to pre-Tesla. It's going to help out with both lanes. And amazing for me that the Archers both go in the same lane. That's actually huge because we can just take care of them with a log here. And I think that was a really big mistake by my opponent. Because <clears throat> those Evo Archers would have been significantly more menacing. But because they were in the same lane, one Princess shot and log takes care of the Archers. So... If you don't know that interaction, just go ahead and put that in your pocket. Okay, Ice Spirit here. And then I'm just going to log. And then Knight in the same lane as the Monk. Princess is going down, but no big deal there. I'm going to Tesla here, anticipate the Ram Rider. Mm, we need to be careful here with the Monk ability. We know that they want to pop the monk ability, most likely. So we're just going to chill. Evil Knight is going to tank the monk, the sparky shot. 
Now that the monk ability is off the board and we survived, we're okay. The important thing in those situations is like not to panic. Like they want you to panic. They want you to freak out. Um, so it's okay if you take a little bit of damage. You need to trust that you can defend in the future. So we're going to go like that. And that Sparky is actually getting a ton of value for him because we haven't been able to rocket it. <clears throat> but even though we didn't have the cleanest defense, like we're fine. Cool. I'm just going to reset here. Yeah, he was anticipating like a barrel or something with that monk. I don't think it's a horrible play. I'm going to go like this and then skeleton surround to DPS that down quicker. Beautiful. Nice. And those archers are off the board, so that's awesome for us. Evo skeleton's low to make sure that that monk doesn't get on the tower. Okay. Then we need to go for a log and then an ice spirit to reset. And you can see, like, that was a... Like, that push probably looked crazy, but he wasn't able to break through. The one thing we do need to watch out for him is baiting us with the rocket so like what he's doing right now like i can't immediately go for the rocket because he might play the monk um so we're gonna have to rocket like last like minute so now he can't get the monk down if he wanted to and we still hit the sparky that's the idea we need to pull the monk away from the tesla and away from the tower and at this point um my man isn't gonna break through he can't defend the barrel so that's a good game we're gonna rocket here he doesn't have the monk in cycle it's on the board so kind of a cheeky matchup. He actually played it really well, I have to admit. <clears throat> but you just got to play around the monk and you'll be okay. So that's a good game. We'll see you in the next one. We'll see if we can get like a really, really hard matchup. Maybe I can win something like that. I'm going to split skeletons. Anything to get to my, my evos. Uh, ask and you shall receive. <laughs> Evo recruits. Uh, the one thing I will say is having the two evolutions in your deck this season is so helpful for defending against recruits. It's like life-changing. I'm going to Ice Spirit High to pull everything to the middle. And I'm going to Knight here because I don't want to take any additional damage on that tower. Okay, so I'm going to Rocket last second here. And you'll see we are able to defend <coughs> for almost no damage. So it looks like we're running against Hog, Royal Recruits, and Firecracker. So if you want, I wanted a bad matchup. I asked for a bad matchup. And uh, I got it. I'm going to try and activate my King Tower here. Yes. No. Yes. Almost got it. <clears throat> All right. Let's, let's find out what their spells are. Probably doesn't have Bar Barrel, Arrows. Okay. So, their main win condition is Hog Rider. I bet you they only have one spell. The Arrows is probably their only spell. Because the fact that they have Firecracker, Recruits, Hog, Prince, Ghost probably only means they're running one spell. A little trick for you is whenever you see someone that's running arrows, oftentimes it's like a catch-all spell for them. So I'm going to Princess in the back. We do have our Evo Skeletons in hand if they opt to go for Evo Recruits or anything. So because I don't think he has it, um, well, does he have arrows in hand? Let's see. I'm going to pressure. I think he just cycled back to arrows. So, Oh, interesting. No arrows in hand. So we're going to get a ton of damage here. And then we're going to try and get away with Evo Skeletons. If he arrows it, we can still go for like a log or something. That's fine with me. And then we're going to take a King Tower activation because in this matchup, King Tower activation is absolutely huge. Okay. And normally I would go in with the barrel to support this knight, but I'm a little <clears throat> not stressed about the Evo recruits, but you know, they're threatening beautiful there go the arrows and look we already have another princess in cycle we're gonna pull all of these into the middle here ice spirit here to protect our princess we're gonna get a nice log here as well and then get back to another tesla and you can see my princess is still alive dude he forces out another set of arrows and i misplaced that ice spirit a little bit <clears throat> but we survived what should have been a horrible push Okay, they're going to get value with their Firecracker. I can't really do anything about it, but they shouldn't have arrows in hand. So I'm going to go for a log, maybe catch something. We don't quite catch anything, but it is what it is. We're going to go like this. Yeah, good pre-arrows by my opponent. I was, I was worried about them going for the pre-arrows. I tried to get away with it, but good news is they won't be able to, able to defend this super easily because we have the Knight tanking and they don't have arrows in hand. So, them going for the arrows pretty much cost them the game. So, that's a good game. Interesting matchup. You probably won't see it too often, but I would say it applies to most spam decks. So, that's a good game. We'll catch you in the next one. Into our next matchup here. And I actually think my favorite starting play 
is splitting the skeletons. Like, it's one elixir, and it just gets you that much closer to the evolved skeletons. Okay, Hog EQ, because he earthquaked late, I actually don't need to play anything on it. He spent a lot on that push, so I'm gonna go like this. <clears throat> okay, so Hog Earthquake is an interesting matchup for Log Bait. I think it's slightly in their favor, <clears throat> but if you get the King Tower activated, uh, it is manageable. The one thing that's really, really hard is they have a really fast cycle. Um, so, like, they can outcycle your Tesla, like we just saw right there. But because we do have the skeletons in here instead of the goblins or goblin gang, our cycle's quicker than normal, but still not as quick as their cycle. So there will be times where you will need to defend with the rocket, and then it pretty much gives them a free earthquake. Yeah, there it is right there. So I'm going to cycle my skeletons. They're not predicting my princess. I would have. So I'm going to go like this. Wow, that's funny. That's actually really impressive because <clears throat> they got the timing exactly right when I hit 10 elixir. So that's the sign of a good player. And the only reason I protected it is because I was also trying to force out more elixir. Okay, we're going to go like this. And then I'm going to Ice Spirit to try and get my King Tower activated. Yeah, unfortunately, we do not. We're going to try and catch. Yeah, exactly. Now it's going to force out a log. Beautiful. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't explain that super well, but I knew I didn't know. But I assumed he was going to play a knight if I immediately went for the princess. So now the only thing that he really has to defend a barrel will be uh, goblins. So once this knight crosses, we're going to go like this, and then we're going to log for the goblins that he has to play. And well done by us. We hit the ice spirit as well, and you can see we get a ton of damage. So we actually, with that play, we sneak into the damage lead. The one thing that I'm not <clears throat> super stoked about is we do not have our king tower activated yet. But we do have our evil knight um, for their evil knight. So that in, in itself is really good. He's going to go for an earthquake here. And we're going to have to go for late skeletons, log, and ice spirit to minimize damage. And it still gets a hit. I love it. I love it. Okay, two princesses down is awesome. And they're both going to survive. He's going to have to spend on both of them. Drops the Tesla. Go like this to eat the ice spirit. And because we don't have our king tower activated, it's really adding up. Because when the king tower is activated, you don't have to spend anything else on the hog rider other than the tesla but because we don't yet have the king tower activated um it's very punishing for us right now we'll finally get it here i think no man so unfortunate i mean not unfortunate we're, we're making mistakes but <clears throat> unfortunate that we don't have it yet more so we might have something going for us uh with some split lane pressure here oh i don't know about that tesla if it's going to defend everything it does Fortunate for him. Gets kind of bailed out. But that firecracker is going to get wiped. Okay. We have three princesses down. I know that's definitely annoying for him. Ice Spirit, maybe. Interesting that he goes for the Earthquake because it won't take care of the princesses. We have four princesses down, which is absurd. Okay. I know my dude's sweating over the number of princesses that we have down. He has zero elixir right now. Has to go for the late log. Log here will keep my princess on that side alive absolutely diabolical he has to worry about both sides and somehow chat we've snuck into the lead would you have thought i wouldn't have thought wow really really crazy sequence and we finally do get our king tower activated here we're gonna go like this mm. king tower saves us there like i said so it was once our game that we were looking like we were going to lose. We're looking like we're in an okay spot to possibly win. We're going to have to go for a defensive rocket here. We're going to go like this. And we're going to try and get back to another rocket without jeopardizing our position in this game. If we can get this firecracker off the board, we'll be okay. Okay, firecracker's off the board. Not quite time to go in for a rocket just yet, but it's coming. Two knights down. This is terrifying. We need a rocket log here on defense. It's kind of the only way that we can defend. Okay. Going into triple elixir. Difficult to commentate for me. But we're going to be able to get a fadeaway rocket down most likely. Yep. There it is. Skeleton's here for the firecracker. And sometimes that's what it takes. Oh my gosh, that game was crazy. And dude, 
I'm sure there are things I could have done better, but that game was absolutely nuts. So good game, tough matchup. See you in the next one. For our next match here <clears throat> against Finesse Yoho. I feel like Yoho is a really good Lava Hound player, but I might be getting them mixed up with someone else. But we're going to go Ice Spirit first play. See what we're rocking with. Maybe Golem. <laughs> Lumberjack, I usually means like Golem or Balloon Freeze or something. Firecracker. He's going to get some damage here, but we're going to end up getting our King Tower activated. So I think it's an okay trade for us. We're going to go like this. Skeleton should activate our King Tower here. And I'm very okay with that trade. One little skeleton's going to tank for this Goblin Barrel. And it looks like it's going to be Golem. It's kind of what I think. Based off of the cards that have been played so far. So I'm going to go aggressive here. It's just going to help DPS down this Night Witch. Nice. And it actually forces out a Lumberjack out of them. So that's good. Golem, not necessarily the easiest matchup. I mean, it depends on the variant of Golem that they have. <clears throat> but us already having our King Tower activated is huge. I wish that I had Inferno Tower instead of Tesla in this matchup, but it is what it is. Said well played. Don't know if they're being sarcastic or not, but we're going to cycle a log here. Get ready for him to go in for a golem or something, which they do not. So we're going to Princess in the opposite lane. We do have our Evo Knight and our Evo Skeletons in hand, so that's sweet for us. Goes for the Fireball. I'm going to go in here. Go in like this. That Evil Knight is going to tank for a very, very long time. And I don't know what that tornado was. Uh, yeah, just not a good tornado. He messed it up. We're going to keep the pressure up. That's what you, you need to do against Golem is you need to pressure in single elixir. Because in double elixir, that's kind of their time to shine. They have a hard time defending in a single elixir. So you want to try and like force out as much elixir as possible in single. So that way you can easily just like spell them out and double elixir. Yeah, there's the golem. You find ourselves down some elixir, but I think with the king tower activation and our evo skeletons, if we play this properly, we will be able to defend. Hopefully they play a night witch behind that where I can rocket it as well. Yeah, so that's also why it's nice to be going same lane in certain circumstances because you can see there, we can just rocket the night witch. And I hope the evo skeletons don't go down right away. Yeah, they don't, so that's awesome. We're going to go like this. And then I'm going to knight high here. Glad that I did. And we only need to get one more good rocket here and we're going to win the game. Beautiful. And now they'll probably spam the bridge because they don't have time to get another golem down. Okay, I don't know why they would go for that night witch. Um, so yeah, that, hopefully that shows you how to play the matchup. You got to be aggressive. Maybe not as aggressive as I was, but aggressive enough to where in double elixir when it's hard for you to defend, their tower's pretty much gone. So... That's a good game against Golem. We'll see you in the next one. All right, into our final match of the video here. I'm gonna see if we can get a nice, a fun matchup. Maybe a hard matchup. I would like like a nice neutral matchup to be completely honest. So because they dropped the Sparky, I'm gonna immediately pressure in the opposite lane. Because either way it forces out Elixir or we get a ton of damage. And in this case, it looks like we get both. <clears throat> good news is I can rocket whatever they play here and get a really, really easy defense. Yeah, exactly. So rocket on all of that. Once that heal spirit jumps, I'm going to go for my skeletons. Um, and easy defense. Yeah, only one goblin giant shot. So life is good. <clears throat> so goblin giant, pretty good matchup for bait. Um, you won't hear me complaining against God, going against goblin giant. And that's actually going to get a ton of damage on the left. I'm super surprised that they just ignored that. <clears throat> In general, when you're run, when you running log bait, you want to go opposite lane as your opponent because you don't want them to be able to play troops that can counter push in the same lane as you. So because they let that knight and skeleton get so much damage, I'm excited to be able to go in the opposite lane. Perfect timing with the Sparky as well. Interesting. There's a chance they have a mirror in here or something, like the fact that they just let that all go. Evo Skeletons here are going to defend everything. And then I'm going to Ice Spirit like this because it'll make them have to play something on the Evo Skeletons. And you can see that 6 Elix Elixir Sparky got countered for only 3 Elixir. So right off the bat, if I'm them, I'm not super stoked with the matchup. 
Interesting Rage, interesting Zap, and um, because they were very, very aggressive there, I'm going to pressure. They went for a Rage and a Zap, so they're going to be low on Elixir. Anything they play on this night, probably a 4 Elixir Mini P.E.K.K.A., won't be able to defend the barrel. And they might have even just thrown in the towel, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's a really bad matchup, but they also were playing it like not that good, to be completely honest. Yeah. So GG's. Um, if you don't like Beatdown, this is a really, really good deck, deck for you, so happy with that one. Nice job. <laughs> That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Here's the deck one more time in case you want to screenshot it. Please consider giving this deck a try. It's so fun. It's so good. It has a ton of outplay potential. I promise you'll like it. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in another one real soon.